Hey guys, before we get into this video, I wanted to briefly mention that Proto Mario originally did do theory on this, but because we took opposite approaches on getting our information and we concluded very, very differently, I'm just going to briefly say that he did do a theory on this. You guys can go check out uh, his theory in the description. And uh, let's get started. What is going on, Rebels and Rebelettes? Have you guys ever wondered how in the world Rhydon is able to get Surf when it is quad weak to water itself? Essentially, Rhydon getting hit by a water tip attack once means it's basically game over. So how can this thing hop in the water and actually ferry trainers across? This matter is very complicated and has left trainers stumped for generations. Well, thanks to some help from fellow Poketuber Hoops and Hip Hop, I think we have finally cracked this case. What's up, Pokemon fans? Like Mystic said, I'm Hoops and Hip Hop, and we are going to be presenting to you guys our theory on how Rhydon can learn Surf even though it's weak to water. If you enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And now, without any further ado, let's get started. So to start things off, let's dive right into Rhydon's origin or the creature it is based off of. Rhydon's stages of evolution are very closely related to that of the Indian Rhinoceros. The Indian Rhinoceros has many loose folds, as well as lumps, known as tubercles, giving this species an armored plate appearance very similar to Rhydon's. Rhydon's armored hide is mentioned a lot in a variety of its Pokedex entries as well. The biggest key factor in distinguishing the similarities between this Pokemon and this specific type of Rhino though, is the fact that the Indian Rhinos are very good swimmers and spend a lot of their time either in or submerged under the water gathering aquatic plants. This particular type of rhino is also one of the few types that really spends this much time in the water. Given these facts, Rhydon's ability to learn surf could be because it's actually based on the Indian rhino, but is that really the case? Rhyhorn, being the earliest stage in this evolutionary line, actually can't learn surf, and this does fit rather nicely with the Indian rhinoceros. In this situation, Rhyhorn would be acting as the calf. Rhino calves are very dependent on their mothers and don't even leave their side until they are three years old. So it actually makes sense that Rhyhorn cannot learn surf because since it is at the earliest stage in its evolution, it has not yet learned how to do so. How Rhyperior learns surf is really easy. Teach it the HM for it or evolve Rhydon with surf on it. Something that was really interesting though that we wanted to point out was how Rhydon evolves. Rhydon can evolve into Rhyperior, holding the Protector item while trading. Now we can link the Protector item and the Indian Rhinoceros together due to how it burrows in wet mud to cool itself down. The Protector in a sense does that because Rhyperior's design does not have that armored-like hide anymore. We can see this because of all the rocks it has surrounded by it compared to Rhydon's design. Since Rhydon are also said to live in volcanic magma of very high heat, this process of evolution does make a lot of sense due to the way the Indian Rhinoceros cools down its body. So with all that being said, we can conclude that Rhydon's resemblance and relationship towards the Indian Rhinoceros play a big part in how Rhydon can learn surf. The Indian Rhino's ability to swim well and how it spends a lot of its time in water really points towards how Rhydon has the ability to learn surf, thus giving it the ability to ferry people across water and be in bodies of water themselves. Whether or not this is true though, is still just a theory. Speaking of theories, did you guys know that the main protagonists from X and Y, Serena and Caleb, have a mom named Grace, who used to be a Rhydhorn racer? Did you also know that Caleb and Serena aren't even from Kalos, but a different region altogether? Mystic and I did a video over on my channel where we theorize exactly where these two are from, so go ahead and click the annotation on screen to check it out. Sounds like a great idea. I will see you guys down there. If you guys also enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and share this video with a friend. As always, I've been Mystic Umbreon, and I will see you in the future for more Pokemon content.